Welcome everybody and thank you so much for coming and choosing us above all the comedy and all the melling around that's going on. This is a, a, a real refuge, I think, from the rest of the festival. So we are here once again to celebrate the political and cultural activities of Hamish Henderson and the principles that lay behind them. Hamish, to me, is most importantly a poet, but he didn't separate poetry from song. He didn't separate it either from the people. And he believed that everything arises from the people. It isn't something that comes from above and is handed out to people. The culture, poetry, song arises from the people. And it certainly is true of Scotland. And Hamish went around Scotland recording people's songs and stories. And through that, we have the School of Scottish Studies. So he did a tremendous lot for us. Well, um, one of the things Hamish did was he wrote a song for Mandela, which, uh, which was um, called Rivonia. And he wrote it 30 years, at the 30 years at, uh, earlier at the time of Mandela's arrest and trial. It was adapted from a Spanish Civil War ballad. And the, the song spread throughout the world, and even the fishermen of Robin Island were singing it. Well, we're very lucky tonight to have Stuart McCarley, who's going to start us off with singing Ravonia to us, which is a good way to start. Um, the other thing about Ravonia is that we'll probably hear about how Mandela was invited to Glasgow after he was freed from prison. And um, he wanted to meet Hamish Henderson when he came to Glasgow. And together they sang Ravonia and they danced on the balcony of the city chambers in Glasgow in 1993 on the 9th of October. So what an amazing picture that sums up in our minds. So Stuart McCarty. Well, I've recently learned from my grandchildren that weird is a complimentary adjective nowadays. <laughs> so I'm going to say that Stuart McCarty is weird. In fact, all our speakers tonight are totally weird. <laughs> In that he's, uh, he's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's a Scots language specialist, he's a storyteller, but he's also seriously and excitingly knowledgeable about prehistoric Scotland, where he pursues his own research and has his own opinions, and gives continuing education classes and writes books published by Luaf. So um, you could ask him about things like dear priestesses, Nine Maidens, Pictish Stones, or The Real Columba. That's the book that's coming out. <laughs> so, Stuart, would you come and sing yes. us? Yeah. 